All right, we're working on a 2005 SRT4. I'm busy working on doing the reassemble, and I wanted to take the time to go over um, installation of this slave cylinder here. Since the system is broke apart, and I finally had an opportunity to do this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install this. Give it a twist. All right. Now, this fitting here, this is actually missing the release off of here, so I'll have to go get that. There's supposed to be a release on here. That just slides right in here. All right, and then we're going to bleed it out. I'm going to get a release off of another one, and I'm going to put it on here just so we have it there in case we have to ever take it apart. It's a little hard to do that without that being there. Okay. Um, I got the piece we need. They are split on the end. So, let's try to do this, holding the camera. Alright, slid that over, slide that there, and then we're going to take this. Not easy to shove together. Should have had that back farther. There we go. Okay, so that's assembled. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my fluid, and it's pretty ugly. That should be actually clear. So. Um, I'm going to suck that out of there and put some fresh in there. Okay, check it out. Nice and clean. I'm going to add basically dot three brake fluid. I'm going to fill this up. A little nicer. What I'm going to do is I'm sticking my hand through the hole and I'm going to push on the slave cylinder. See the bubbles coming? That's what happens. And do this slowly. Release it out slowly. You can see the fluid level dropping a little bit. I still have my hand on the clutch fork. I'm pushing it again. Bubbles. And I'm holding it in hard. I'm holding it. Nothing's coming. I'm letting it out nice and slow. When you do this, you want to do it slow because you can break the air bubbles up into being really small and then they don't like to come out. There we go. Letting it out. Bringing it in. You can actually see the fluid start to change color a little bit now. It's turning more brown like it was originally because it's pushing the dirty fluid back up out along with the air. All right, we got less bubbles that time. Let this out. You see, my fingers are getting dirty from doing this. Now, if you want, you can have this out and then you can like push it against, but I feel I have better control by sticking my fingers in and pushing on this. There, I did push on that a little fast that time. But... Put 
that. We did it that time. We had like no bubbles. I got one. Now well, keep in mind, this car was sitting. I did not pump the pump the clutch pedal at all yet. I figured since I assembled this unit, I didn't want to force any more air or fluid down through there. So I'm actually just pushing on the clutch fork first. And see it disturbing the fluid level a little bit. I'll push it a little faster. There you go. Now you can see that. I got a bubble. So. Keep doing this. Ooh, bubbles. Now I'm doing it faster than I was before, and I'm getting more bubbles. And when I hold it to the end, pressed in all the way, I'm actually getting bubbles to come out. So that's what you want. The whole idea is to do this. Do you have no air? See, now I'm grabbing this thing and I'm pushing it pretty quick. You can tell by the way the fluid's coming. A little bit faster. See, and then when you hold it at the end, you'll get some too. You can actually see there is smaller bubbles down in there. Little tiny bubbles in there. What'll happen is they'll 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 break. They'll actually form larger bubbles. They'll actually go together and they'll they'll work their way out. Is what'll happen. Yeah, nice and dirty. I'm gonna wipe my hand off here. I'm gonna reinstall the clean off the cap. Looks pretty yucky. Clean off the inside of this cap here, and then I'm gonna reinstall it. See how the pedal feels. All right. We got our cap installed, we bled out of most of our bubbles. We're gonna go sit in the car and we're gonna see how the clutch feels. Really light feel. So we probably have to get this bled up. And then re bleed. I might have to double check underneath here to make sure that it's, it might not even be screwed in. Alright, as easy as that's pulling, pushing I mean, let's get up in here and examine what we're looking at. You see that rod there in the middle? That's the rod that's connected to the pedal right there. And that's actually pushing the master cylinder up in there. So that's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So we're gonna pump this up a little bit. And we're gonna go out, we're gonna re-bleed it. And as easy as this is, I might as well just do it with my hand. It actually feels like it's starting to get some pedal now. I'm not able to start the vehicle and check the disengagement yet because I have to assemble some items on the car. Get the bubbles. Doing the same thing again. Okay. Pushing in on the slave cylinder. Pushing the air out. 
hold it at the end, more comes out. Do this till you don't have any more air. I can tell you right now, compared to the first time, I was pushing this on the fork to depress the slit, the master, or the slave, I mean, <laughs> to push it back up through. This actually feels more uh, like it has more resistance because the fluid's in there. All right, I got the cap installed. Like I said, it did feel better. We're gonna get into the vehicle. I'm gonna try to push on this with my hand to see if it has any resistance compared to last time. Oh yes, that actually feels like a good pedal. But we'll pump this up again and we'll do the bleed process outside. This actually, like, there's free play and it's starting to push now. There was actually no pressure before. try this again. This will be our third and final time. I would hope. Pop that off. Put it to the side where you're not going to get dirt. Sticking my hands in here. I'm going to push on this. Look at that. No bubbles the first time. Give it a little bit faster push. Oh, there we go. We got one. I'm holding it, nothing's coming. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there are some very small, small bubbles in the in the fluid. Which happens. A lot of that'll come out over overnight. And from sitting. So that's where that's at. We're gonna stick a little bit more brake fluid down in here. So that right there would be how you install a slave cylinder. Now don't get me wrong, this stuff was used, nothing was brand new, but it's still the same technique when you're putting it together. Alright. Let out, no bubbles. What I'll do is um, in a day or two. Or some other time, if you see, I, I'm working on putting the radiator. i got to put the radiator in, the battery box, and a couple other things in this car. Computer, which you don't put in until after you get the rat in. But uh, once I get everything assembled, um, I'll probably come back in here in a day or two. And I'll do the bleed process again. I'll actually, all I will do, because I'll be, I'll be pushing on the clutch, getting it to start and stuff. As long as it disengages the clutch and releases the pressure plate so that it can be shifted, it's fine. But I will, in a day or so, I'll go down through in here and I'll do the, the bleed process over again. I'll actually push on the slave cylinder to see if I get any air bubbles out. Just to make sure I have all the air out of the system. So, thanks for watching. Give a like and subscribe. Um, I'll do some more repair videos. Um, if you have anything that you have a question on or would like to see me repair so you know what you're doing, uh, let me know. Thanks.